The prize jewel in the crown of European rugby reaches its final stage today. That is the grand final of the Heineken Cup in the magnificent Millennium Stadium. It is the 2013 champions, Toulon, facing off against the beaten finalists from 2012, Ulster. Hello everyone and welcome along to Cornflakes Crew of your home of Rugby Challenge 2 and the Heineken Cup where we are in the grand final, the biggest showpiece of European rugby, the biggest match of them all, the Heineken Cup final between these two magnificent sides who have had fantastic runs towards this day today at Millennium Stadium. Now Ulster, the side that we have followed through their magnificent journey to this match just recently their two knockout matches after the grueling nail-biting group stage where they just took that by a whisker they then went on to take on well they've had to beat every french giant club from recent history it was toulouse who were first up and they dispo disposed of them in the quarterfinal 17 to nil of course defense a big factor in that match it just got even more intense in the semi-final where they come up against Clermont and they took them out 24 to nil. That's right, two of the best French sides going around in Toulouse and Clermont, both taken out to a nil scoreline by this Ulster side. Now they've stopped the all-French final, but the biggest task they have so far is to take out the Giants, the built-to-glory side of Toulon. And here they are, a fantastic team that they are. Of course, they have just a couple of injury concerns as well, with Sheridan missing through injury. Castro Giovanni takes that spot on the loose end side of the scrum. And then in the centres as well, Murmo's coming on at inside centre. He replaces the injured Matt Gitto for this one. But of course, the names are all there. The likes of Wilkinson, Habana, Bastro, Michelax, their Marceau, Fernandez, Lobby. Stefan Armitage, who we've seen recently with the Highlanders in the career, and of course the front row with Heyman and Castro Giovanni. It is just a blockbuster side. Their form coming into today's match, of course, the quarter final where they took on the side coming out of Ulster's group as well. 43 to 13, that was the Leicester Tigers that got thrashed by Toulon, and then of course they come up against Munster in the semi-final and that was just an absolute thrashing 51 to 7 not even a match up there between those two teams but it's going to be a classic it is the heineken cup final and we're about ready to kick things off for the showpiece this magnificent match they call the heineken cup final I'll still have the duties of kicking the ball away for the first time tonight. That will be Jackson and his team of Ulstermen in the red and white as per usual and it is Toulon. The French giant club in the red and black and we are underway. The Heineken Cup for 2014 is underway and it is with Best who takes a good hit up for Please. the first piece of the match. And on the 22, it is Toulon who get the ball back and Michelac giving it to Castro Giovanni. Release. Who rods it up through the middle. And a couple of turnovers it's looking like already in this match for these two sides. Here's Williams. Goes into the tackle, pops out the back. And Bo comes away with the Marshall and Henderson. Involved out to court Trimble. Muller trying to jink his way through a tackle of Mitchell. Can't find anywhere to go there. Now they come to the right court. All oh, the big men involved and Marshall knocks on. So the first mistake of the match going to Ulster. Hot on attack as well. The way they were playing there, they are just really setting it up through their forwards. But that final Crouch. play just wasn't coming Crouch. off for them. The speed to the rucks. Not the best so far for Ulster. There'll be a scrum put in for Michelac. And Toulon will have the first set piece of this magnificent grand final of the Heineken Cup. Chris Marsoe, such a powerhouse at number eight. Flicks it back, Wilkinson's met big time from Jackson. And then Trimble puts on a smashing shot on Mitchell as well. Great defense from Ulster to start things off here. Doyle has it, he goes short to our forward. The big prop, oh what a hit from him. He gets rid of Michelac. 
as all good props should do, getting rid of the little scrum half. But losing possession again, and this is a real topsy-turvy match. As Bastero gives it to Wilkinson. Oh, massive shot coming in up off her. Here's Jackson to Trimble. Oh, this match is an amazing start already. Pinar setting it up. Jackson doesn't want it that close. Gives it to Henderson. Oh, there's a three on one. Marshall away for Bo. And the first try of the final goes to Ulster. Tommy Bo dots down. And look at that switch of play. Take it back a few seconds. Back to Jackson. He took the play to the left. Pinar was looking for him. He finally found him and he switched it to the right. An unbelievable piece of play from Jackson. And the numbers was on. And an easy finish. His easiest of the season, that's for sure. And the Heineken Cup goes to Tommy Bow. Great work there from Marshall and Henderson. And nothing that Dylan Armitage could do about that. The fullback. And Toulon take the first step backwards here as Ulster take the lead. Look at the crowd. It's bathed in red here in Millennium Stadium. How important will this be? The goal kicking. The biggest part possibly. Wilkinson won't miss. How about Pinar? No, he doesn't either. No chance ruined Pinar. He's had a great season with Ulster. And he's a real asset at the base of the scrum has ruined Pinar, but that man, well, you can't give him too much chance because he will knock them over, guaranteed. Here's Wilkinson kicking off, and he goes deep down the first time into Ulster's half, and it is best who's knocked it on now. So a couple of mistakes coming in from Ulster. Front, Front row is on him the best of days here. Here's Gia Kisra Giovanni, goes wide for Buster on Momos, blinks around, and he's taken from a couple of Ulster defenders. It's well done there from Allen and Marshall. Now they look for Habana. Habana chips over the top. Charles for Payne. Oh, good work from Jared Payne at the back. He really had to sprint in for that one after Habana put the little chip in. But he's really saved the day there for Ulster. Here's Jackson. And he kicks downfield just outside the 22. Somewhat relieving a bit of pressure. And it's a line out for too long just outside the Ulster 22 this could be a big part of the match here to the back they go and Armitage takes it down nicely giving it back to Casso Giovanni in a big game here for Suta he slicks through before offloading it inside and that is a Release. good play from the second rower Ulster keen on this dedicating big numbers and that is a big play Pinar goes back to Marshall and Marshall puts it to his boot he thumps it downfield up to halfway and it's still on Armitage will return the favour, kicking it back. And the mark taken again at the back from Ulster. Payne having no second thoughts of slowing this game down, especially with Ulster having the lead. A better kick this time. Had a lot more room to play with there to Jackson. And of course, territory is going to be massive for this match. Who's going to have it in them? It's another line now, just inside the Ulster side of halfway, but taken in the middle. Nicely from Henderson. Jackson, they're looking to the backs here. Allen, who's been impressive, but that is a poor pass. And it's given straight to Murmos, who goes to Stefan Armitage. Driving upfield, here's Michelak. Oh, big hit on Michelak. And that looked like Doyle with that thunderous shot. As it's turned over for Ferris. Ferris splits in half. Oh, Jackson got that ball in Habana. Oh! Habana with the intercept and Ruan Pinar has absolutely hammered him into next week and will spend 10 minutes on the sideline. Unbelievable stuff here and Wilkinson surely will line up three points. Exactly what will happen. What an amazing play. The break from Ferris, he should have gone to bow instead he went back. And Wilkinson, like we said at the start, he oh, he's hit the crossbar. I was about to say he just does not miss and then dunk. But it does go over anyway. Over the post, hitting the crossbar on its way through. Quite remarkable stuff here. Ulster now a man down. And they'll have to rethink their strategy for the next 10 minutes. 
Jackson kicks off and downfield it goes. It's there for Boston who gets smashed. Release. Big tackle from Bo. And look at this from Ulster. Like it's some chances of a turnover in the 22. Of course, no penalty. So Doyle plays scrum half. Gives it to Allen. Just about through one. Henderson. A one for a four. John a four for the corner for Ulster. Oh, what a magnificent try for John Arfoa. Of all people, the tight end prop, he just smoked it over in the corner. And Ulster score with just 14 men, thanks to their winger, which is a prop of all places to find John Arfoa. The pass was there from Henderson once again. But he could, John Arfoa, unbelievable try, getting away from Habana. It's almost an unthinkable sight, something you'll only ever see in the Heineken Cup. John Arfoa, if he had to run another five metres, he would have got nailed into touch. But that could be the big play from this Ulster side. How does that even happen? How does Arfoa get the ball out there? Yellow card as well, and half time. Jackson will take over the kicking duties, of course. No Pinar. This is on the upright. It's hit the post. Oh, wow. Controversial stuff here. Jackson has hit the uprights. It was a beautiful looking kick. But that is a missed opportunity for two points as they'll head to the sheds. And I'd say after half time, we will get Ruin Pinar back on the field. But let's break this match down now at half time and have a look. Just what we have witnessed in this first 40 minutes, it is all one-way traffic as far as possession and territory is concerned for Ulster. The territory, though, they have kicked a lot of ball. We don't have, yes, we do, 7-4 to four is kicks there, the fourth one down. That is a big part of their match, Ulster, as long as they've, as they've got the lead. I can't imagine they'll chance their arm too much in their own 22, at least. The possession of territory 72 and 74, the way of Ulster. Line breaks 4 to 1. Toulon have just made one line break. That is a remarkable amount for such a skilled backline. Of course, the yellow card that we well, have to give credit here to Ruin Pinar. It was a bit a bit like giving away the penalty to save the try. It would have been Habana on the intercept. He was possibly gone without the fullback in place. Instead, they just conceded three and then unbelievably somehow scored with only 14 men it is half time in the greatest final of european rugby the heineken cup it is ulster leading toulon 12 to 3 let's get back down there's 40 minutes left of the season it is ulster leading and it is one classic massive match here at millennium stadium Ruan Pinar has made his way back onto the field for Ulster following the halftime break. And Wilkinson will kick us back off. And we are underway. Good pass straight away from Henderson, who's been outstanding today. Doyle, open wide for Allen. Oh, he's close to the touchline. How has he got that ball away? Mullins open now. He goes it to Pinar. He's got Boston on him. Bo gets the pass on the infield. That is fantastic from Ulster. And that is another try. Unbelievable. That is fantastic. Straight off the whistle. How about those passes from Allen and Bo Pinar? Oh, that was just brilliant stuff. Here we'll see most of it. We don't see the superb Allen pass. I thought he was in touch, but somehow they got it to the right man in the end, and that was Bo, who had plenty of speed. And this match is not even going to be close at the moment. It is all Ulster. And Toulon have got nothing to show for their efforts at the moment. That was one special try. And Ulster missed one kick through Jackson. Uh, this man back on the field returns them to 15. And with a slight breeze against him. Shouldn't be any problem for Ruel Pinar, makes no mistake. And it is another two points for Ulster. They go to a 19-3 lead over Toulon. What have they got up their sleeve here, Toulon? They need something, and they need something massive. 
Wilkinson will kick off. Oh, he goes short. He's caught the. He's caught Ferris out of it there, but he eventually. Oh, comes away and throws the forward pass. That's been picked up from Michelac. Advantage over. And now with advantage being over, it will be Toulon who will rampage it back. Oh, brilliant run here from Marsui. Links up inside with Armitage. He links up. Oh, that is outstanding. It's Neroth who goes just 15 metres out. Castro Giovanni. Can he find his outside support? No. It's good defence there from Ulster. But they're in the danger zone now. As they look to the left side. Habana on Henderson. Oh, that is outstanding. That is a matchup that you just don't want defensively. Brian Habana had too much pace for Henderson. The second rower was smoked. A piece of fish on the barbecue that was gone. Unbelievable spotting. The fourth side here. Who was that? That was Fernandez Lobby. He noticed there was only forwards out there. And Habana just smoked him and put Toulon right back in this fixture. There it was, that was it. Look who was out there, number five and number two. And poor old Payne couldn't get back in time. And when you have an exquisite finisher out there, like Brian Habana, it's just easy points. And Toulon, they know where their points are. Wilkinson with the conversion, and that is a perfect kick from Johnny Wilkinson. They know how to strike, do Toulon. And they will be composed as ever to know that they still have just under half an hour to pull back these nine points. It's Ulster. They may be getting a little bit concerned here as it's kicked off again from Jackson. And downfield it goes to Bustolo, who gives it to Jackson. Oh, Mitchell, Mitchell's away. Inside ball he goes, and it's there for Mermos, who gets hammered. Oh, and he's injured himself. Maximi Mermos is out. Neck injury from the tackle. And he is off. Pelliasan will come on. He will possibly go into inside centre. Crouch. But boy, Coach. broken play there, Mitchell Six. busting away on the right hand wing. Just about giving them back to back tries for too long. They'll have the scrum pack down though. How will Peliasson go on this back line? Mishlak, who decides to go short side himself for going back upfield for Armitage. Now Armitage is in. He's away into the 22. A good tackle at the back Three. from Payne. And Ulster are in a world of trouble here. It's there for Bastardo. Steps, goes away to Habana, but Bo deals with him this time. World of trouble here, Ulster, as Castro Giovanni takes the little run off the back of the ruck. Gets hammered into touch. A few Ulster fans at, the, at that end of the stadium there. And best. Throws in, taken nicely at the front. Pinar gets it and paying the fullback. Will take the kicking duties and puts a nice one away too. And there was no chance. Uh, they were going to play that one out there. Ulster that close to their own line. And a great kick from Payne. Oh, what's... It's been deemed to be given a throw for Toulon. Five metres out. Where did this come from? It's, however, gone away, and Jackson now will kick it. And his kick goes up to the 10-metre line. What is going on here with the officials? In touch by Ulster, but where's the line-out going to be? It is up by the 10-metre line, so they've got this one right, but, boy, that could have been devastating for Ulster. Too long, they have another line-out. This time they hit the man, and Suter gives it down nicely. And Boffer frees out for Bustero. Now there's some trouble here with Trimble as he's got to take Pelias on. And there's opposite number out there. Release. Mitchell has been in good form as well. His suits are going up for Wilkinson. Gets hammered. Big Release. shot coming in from court. Takes him back a couple of steps. Now they look to Pelias on once again. Out to Habana. Habana on Bo. And Habana, Bo gets Release. taken. Habana down. But still moving forward here. They're spreading their plays nicely. Up too long. That's a massive hit. Release. 
Ulster won this ball. They want to clear it out from near their own line. But Toulon will not let them do it. Armitage. Dummies going short side. Boffer. Oh, just about through there in a short run. Again, trying to go through the middle. Release. Toulon keeping their forwards tight here. But it could be a turnover, which will be massive with five to go. Court gives it to Marshall. And Marshall will thump this one away as well. Up to halfway they go. Armitage at the back. A good tackle on him. Bastero gives it to Wilkinson. Oh, they're spreading it wide. Oh, Mitchell's knocked it on. Oh, that's Pelliasson out there. And the substitute for the injured Murmos, Pelliasson knocks it on. Sitting out on his favoured wing as well. Meaning possibly that Mitchell has moved in field. And now the changes come with Fernandez Lobby coming off for Gunther. For Toulon as well as possibly some others. Crouch. Cut. The crowd is going mental here with a Set. minute to go. Ulster, can they hang on? Oh, the kick up is it. Their mercy here. A nine point lead, they can't possibly lose. Full time goes. Can they win this ball? They do. Pinar will get it to Jackson. And Jackson will thumb this into touch and it will be all over. Ulster will take the Heineken Cup for 2014. A massive performance from Ulster. They have taken the game directly to Toulon. They fought back, but they had enough in the tank to hang on with the lead that they had. Fantastic match, full of, full of entertainment, full of controversy as well and Toulon really hammered away for a long period of time before finally Ulster could rest easy knowing with just minutes to go that they could not lose that match needing Toulon to score twice what a matchup that was over half an hour to go the lead was just nine and Toulon were camped inside the Ulster half What's a Heineken Cup final that is? I'll stick it the win they have been wanting. It has been a long time since 99 when they last won. Toulon don't get the double. They don't get the repeat. And Ulster take on a massive, massive win. 19 to 10. Let's check out the scores and the stats from the match. Alfoa, well that try from John Alfoa, let's just say, was freakish. The prop having the, the pace to get 10 meter run over Habana, that is outstanding stuff. He got one and Tommy Bow was brilliant. You, you say about your key players turning up at key times, well, you can say quite clearly that Pinar and Bow were outstanding. Pinar got the yellow card, of course, but his two conversions, two from two for him. Of course, Jackson hit the post while Pinar was in the bin. That was the winning of the match there. Bo was brilliant in the first half. And by then it was too late for Toulon as they got hold of him in the second. But wasn't enough. As for Toulon, their 10 points coming from a try to Havana where they actually caught Bo not taking his man. And that left the second rower, Henderson, to take on the South African, well, finisher. He is an outstanding player. Wilkinson converted and, of course, brought over the penalty goal from the yellow card as well, which saw Pinar off the field for 10 minutes. Well, things evened up quite remarkably from half time, where Ulster had over 70% of possession in territory. It come all the way back as they just got over 50 and Toulon in the low 40s. That is a good match of two halves, definitely there. Toulon in the end didn't have enough to come back. They were robbed, Murmos, that, that injury he got probably could have and should have been a try, but some stout defense from Ulster kept them out. You see the key stat there of kicks. Ulster kicked away any ball in their 22. They didn't have to run it, and they didn't run it. We've got the yellow cards here, a high tackle, yellow card, one of each, and of course a penalty conceded, resulting in the penalty goal that Johnny Wilkinson had no worries knocking over. So hopefully we can have a trophy presentation for Ulster and let's see if we do indeed get that. And a trophy we do indeed get the Heineken Cup going to Ulster and his proud captain Muller 
holding it high as Ulster claim their Heineken Cup glory. Let's go back and check it all out at the home of all stats and things like that. Ulster taking the Heineken Cup for the first time since 99 and taking out their first since their loss in 2012 in the grand final. And a glorious sight that is for Ulster, the Heineken Cup winners for 2014. A fantastic job from Ulster to beat the French Giants, all three of them, Toulouse, Clermont, and now, of course, Toulon. That is a massive result for Ulster. And that wraps up our Heineken Cup for this year. Thank you all for tuning in to this Ulster side and how they've gone throughout the whole competition. It started off a bit wobbly, but in the end, they all got there, and Ulster have themselves a nice new trophy. So thank you for watching the whole series. Hope you enjoyed the Heineken Cup for this year, and of course, guaranteed, it'll be back next year for some other lucky club who we will follow, and that will do us for the Heineken Cup. The grand final over, Ulster getting the 19-10 win over Toulon, and I'll see you all. Enough time for plenty more rugby. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the series. And thanks for all your comments, requests for players in the squad and all that kind of thing. But it's been awesome. And I'll see you next time for plenty more. Until then, take care.